Welcome to Killabit. Hello, I'm KB and uh, welcome to Killabit and today I'm going to show you how you can dual boot the Note 4, Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So it works on another device so it will be applied for all of them you know what I mean so I have a note 4 so I'm just gonna use the note 4 galaxy note 4 so let's get started first of all you need this thing called the dual boot patcher you can see here wait a second and dual boot patcher and uh, version and everything so I will put link in the description to download this so go there and download it first and if you want to follow uh, along with me you can pause the video and download the program and then after that you know um, uh, resume video and get started so let's go in rooms first and it will ask you to set a kernel so just set it kernel and uh, after that you go patch zip file and uh, you can see here list of uh, what type of uh, devices supported by this and uh, here, here's lots of so I am using Note 4 Exynos, Exynos version not a snapdragon it will automatically select your device if your device is supported it will select automatically so I'm using Note 4 Exynos, <laughs> Exynos, Exynos okay so after that you are gonna select the second option primary upgrade where, where it says primary ROM upgrade you can you gonna select the secondary and then you have to download the you know uh, supportable uh, ROM for your device first uh, like I'm using CM12 I mean CM I mean cyanogen mode 12 so we're gonna choose file we can use any ex explorer we want so I'm going to select the CM12 zip and it will patch the file and it says tap to begin patching so I will just select it and it will start to patch everything for your dual you know dual thing <laughs> I mean dual boot so the successfully patched CM12 dual zip so after that we're gonna go to the room and uh, hit this uh, pink thing here and uh, it will show you something and I'm gonna select this don't show me again okay so again we're gonna explore and we're gonna select this time we're gonna select the patched file it says okay let me show you it says uh, cm12 dual we're gonna select the dual patched file patched file this is the patched file last time we selected and gonna click it and uh, click and keep the location it says it, this uh, room is patched for dual mode so we're gonna uh, select the keep location select and uh, install zip file so here you can see here right in the right corner top corner uh, it just select okay and it will uh, start installing your room okay we're gonna wait until it um, flashes the room okay so multi-boot copying temporary image to system okay so we are just gonna wait and uh, it says successfully completed and there is no error if there is error it will say command returned one two three how many errors you got so there is zero so that which means it is good you know you are good to go so you are gonna select also gonna choose the um, you know you want to flash these G app so it is sim same as flashing the um, ROM go to the patch zip file again and uh, you have selected all of this like your device model number and after that secondary you're gonna select the secondary if, if you want to um, install the G app in cor uh, correct ROM so again select the file after that gonna G app I'm going to select the G app and uh, after that tap to begin patching so select and uh, here we go okay again go to the rooms and select this pink thing and uh, gonna explore and where it says G app duo you're gonna select that G app duo 
okay so keep the location because it is it is patched, patched for installing uh, into a dual I mean secondary ROM so we're gonna select the keep location and uh, okay so you can see here it is very fast and easy as hell I can't believe that we can actually dual boot the um, Android so it is cool and you, you again you see the command return zero which means it is good as hell and go to the back and uh, you can see here I have primary room KitKat 4.4.4 and secondary room uh, 5.1.1 so I have to I'm gonna pause pause this video right here and I'll see you in the you know um, when I go to the I have to reboot this like here you can see I don't have external camera so I can you know record this thing but I will show you from uh, CM12 I mean from another room I'll see in the another room I just have to click reboot and I will go into the another room and then gonna show you from there see you after a second maybe you won't notice okay wait okay now I'm back uh, you didn't notice anything but I'm I have booted into the secondary room so when you uh, boot into a secondary room you will you'll see here's no dual boot patcher or anything so we're gonna select that again we have to install that again so I have saved here MIUI room and then dual boot patcher so we're gonna install this and uh, accept everything whatever he says just accept it and uh, okay it is taking longer <laughs> long time okay so after that we're gonna go back and uh, drag this here you can just open it but I just like to use you know keep things clean so open it up and if it asks for you know super user oh it grant already <laughs> okay you can see here the arrow white and green background arrow I mean right signal I, ha I have selected the secondary room and I am in the second room it says so when I select it is very easy just select the another room you want to switch the another room you can just select another room you know successfully switched okay let's go into the landscape mode so you can see here okay whenever you reboot your device second time you will be booted into the which room you have selected right now I have selected the sec secondary room so it will uh, uh, reboot again to the secondary room and if I select the primary like this so it will be booted into the primary room so it is very easy and uh, if you still have any question about you know installing and doing anything or you want to know which device is uh, supportable so you just uh, click here and uh, you know download it and it will uh, automatically give you the you know your device is supported or not it will automatically tell you that okay so you, you don't have to worry about anything it is very easy and you won't lose uh, your data or anything so I think that's all for this video if you still have any questions please leave your you know question in the comment section below so I can help you better way so yeah, that's all. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.